That's about good. All right, welcome everyone. My name is Corey Ingall, and at CUA I've been studying playwriting and mathematics. So I'll give you a moment to think about that. <laughs> All right, uh, so the plan for today is as follows. Um, first, we're going to talk about foundations of math and maybe a way you've never thought of them before. Um, then we're going to talk about the play I wrote for my senior project called Problem Set. Um, then I'll talk a little bit about my short adventure to Banff this January. Um, and then I'll say a few words about the stage reading I held in the spring. Um, so it's mainly lecture today, but it's only supposed to be six minutes, so ration your attention appropriately. <laughs> oh, oh, and homework is due at the end of the day today. Just kidding, it's not. <laughs> so last summer, when my senior project was just rising on the horizon, I found an old geometry textbook from 1900 that belonged to my great-grandfather. In the first few pages of the text, the author G.A. Wentworth explains the fundamental ideas of geometry. So, suppose we have a point. A point denotes a finite position in space. Let's call this point A, if you don't mind. And we could have another point, point B. And we could connect them with a line, like so. A line only denotes length and has no width. But if you look at it, this line does have width. Like, it's small, but it's there. We couldn't draw it otherwise. So we pretend that this line represents an ideal line so that we can carry on and do geometry and solve problems. So. Me being a playwright, as well as a math nerd who reads old textbooks, this is really interesting. That whole idea is just the suspension of disbelief. <laughs> pretending that this line is an ideal line, despite all its limitations, is just the same as pretending that a story on stage is real so that we can learn about other perspectives. So that's all I want to say about foundations for now. Now, problem set. For my senior project, I wrote a full-length play called Problem Set. Um, the play contains a lot of interwoven narratives exploring how we learn mathematics and how we create meaning through manipulating definitions. Um, the structure and comedy of the play is very much influenced by my work in the COA Play Production Workshop course, um, where I was the assistant director for COA's production of The Sneeze, which is a collection of short comedic plays by Chekhov that were brought into one night of theater by Michael Frayn. So here are a few snapshots from Problem Set. Pi and a fractal talk in a psychologist's office about what it means to be normal. <laughs> in another scene, the Roman army arrives at the shores of Syracuse, Sicily with a huge fleet of warships. Archimedes brings out his geometrical war machines to defend the city, including the Claw of Archimedes. And the Claw of Archimedes makes quick work of the Roman ships. In another scene, students work on their math homework at help hours. And Two characters argue about the instantaneous slope at x equals 2, or how a function can have roots when it doesn't cross the x-axis. So all of these narratives taken together um, explore what it means to do mathematical and theatrical work and how we create meaning. So next, let me say a few things about Banff. So believe it or not, at the Banff International Research Station in Banff, Alberta, there is a workshop in creative writing in mathematics held every few years. Now, when I found out that this existed, I was completely stunned. I mean, this is a workshop that perfectly applies to this weird subset of interest that I found myself in. Um, so that was pretty amazing. And they only usually uh, accept faculties and postdocs. 
But I was like, I'll send in a proposal anyway, and they'll probably need an intern, and I can bring in the coffee, set it down, and then recede back and just watch as it all unfolds. Um, but in the next week, they got back to me and said that I had been accepted as a full participant. Um, so this last January, I spent five days in Banff um, workshopping my writing and the writing of a whole bunch of professional creative writers and mathematicians and creative writers, mathematicians, you know. So that was a really great experience um, that I'm very thankful to have. Stage reading, in earlier this spring, I got together a whole bunch of fantastic actors and a blackboard artist um, to present a stage reading and problem set to the community. Um, the audience reception was incredibly positive, which is very exciting. Um, even audience members that uh, had no math experience expressed that they could still understand the dynamics of the scenes, um, which was one of my biggest hopes for the play. Um, and also, everyone laughed at all the right points, which is always a joy to have confirmed in your writing. Math is seen as an incredibly elusive and abstract field, but it's not. Math is created as much as art is. It's imagined. And I wanted to show that creative aspect of mathematics to people who've maybe never experienced before. I believe that the processes of mathematics have as much to teach us as the concepts do. So I'd like to thank everyone who's been behind me the whole way. Um, they're all amazing people. And um, this summer, I'm going to be working on problem set and other writing projects and exploring opportunities um, for pursuing my artistic and academic interests. Um, and yeah, that concludes my time. So for now, this concludes the proof. Thank you. Thank you.